Tech lovers across the country lining up this morning outside Apple stores across the country waiting to get their hands on the new iPad. Among them is KXL's own tech expert, Brian Westbrook. Good morning, Brian. Hey, good morning, Chris. So are you, are you in line right now? I am. I'm, not, I'm about 100 back in the reservations line. There are two lines here at the Apple store. One for the list to pre-reserve the iPad. They'll be able to pick it up today until 3 o'clock. And those hoping to get an iPad but didn't make a reservation, the lines are a couple of hundred people at this Apple store on one side, about 100 or so hopefuls hoping to get one of the extras on the other side, those that had not reserved their iPad. And if you didn't make a reservation and you're looking to get one, I might recommend stopping by an Apple store about 3 o'clock. That's when those reservations become invalid and they go into the general pool. Okay, so if you're not in line right now and, and you're not able to get there at 3 o'clock, are you pretty much out of luck for a little while? Actually, no. I, I checked yesterday, and of course it'll change every hour, but you could actually get one shipped to you to deliver by April 12th. There are also two versions of the iPad I want to point out. One of them with just Wi-Fi access. You can use at a coffee shop or on your home network. And another one that has built-in wireless data, so you can use it anywhere you go. That one's not available yet. That one won't be available until later this month. So if you want to hold out for that option, they'll probably be taking pre-orders on that in the coming days. Okay, talk a little bit about, you were mentioning that some uh, Portlanders are making apps and, and kind of uh, taking part in this. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, there's a company called Small Society. They're a small startup run by a guy named Raven, a great friend of mine. Good company that actually developed iPhone apps, and they have for quite some time. And these guys have actually launched a couple of iPad apps that we'll be looking, taking a look at in the coming days as we can download and play with them on the iPad. A lot of Portland developers are really excited about the iPad. They're in line here with me trying to get their hands on an iPad to download those apps, get them and test them, because in a lot of cases, unless you're one of those big developers, you haven't seen the iPad. You're just building an app, hoping that it works. All right, Brian. Good luck in that line there. And of course, we'll want to talk to you later and, and get your review of the iPad. All right. Just trying to stay warm and dry. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. That's Brian Westbrook, KXL tech expert in line to get his own iPad.